Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to Hello Mendix. My name is Ryan Mocky and today we're talking about deep links. Deep links are a way to define unique links which your users can use to access your application. You can configure them before or after your app is deployed and testing usually works fine locally. They also respect security and work fine for both logged in and anonymous users. There are many different routes to achieve this, but in this video, I'm going to be talking about the two different ways that I use to create deep links in my Mendix apps. First up, we have the deep link module, which is the original method I learned to handle deep links. This is, of course, a module available in the Mendix marketplace, and it is quite simple to set up. After downloading this module, the first thing you need to do is add the start deep link subflow to your after startup microflow. This microflow registers the deep link handler when your app starts up both locally and in the cloud. After that, you need to create another microflow and link it to your default homepage on your project navigation. This microflow must call the subflow deep link home, which listens for users who have accessed your application via a deep link and if so, executes the microflow connected to that link. In order to create and configure links, we need to create a page for your administrator to do so. So to do that, you can include the snippet deep link configuration overview in any page accessible by your admin. Once that is set up, your admin will be able to create and configure deep links at runtime by selecting microflows, which will be executed once the link has been clicked. The link can also be configured to pass in values to the microflow via the URL, and this is automatically calculated based on any parameters you declare in your microflow. If you want your link to be accessible by guest, make sure you go to the advanced tab and set do not force login action to true. All of that comes together and creates a link that which when the user clicks it, will direct them to a specific page with the data already loaded. The second way of creating a special link to your application is to use the inbuilt page URL feature, which is available in Mendix out of the box. This allows you to configure a unique URL and to pass in values which are related to your page's parameters. Mendix will attempt to retrieve the entity identified in the URL from the database and pass it into the page as if from context. This method is quickest and easiest to implement. The only drawback here is that any data passed via the URL must exist in your database as well and therefore needs to be stored on a persistent entity. If none of these methods seem good to you, there is of course a whole suite of other modules available in the marketplace. The REST deep link module uses Mendix's native REST functionality to execute the links. This means you have greater flexibility and control when configuring the links and the parameters you pass. Another module worth mentioning here is the URL object notation module created by Clever. This module can convert complex JSON statements into URL object notation, which is great when used in conjunction with the deep link module because you can pass large amounts of data via the URL parameters. There are many different ways to create deep links, which I haven't covered here. So if you have a different approach, please share them in the comments below, because I'm curious to see if developers have come up with their own custom solutions for this. That's all for now. Until next time, I'm Ryan Mocky, and this is Hello Mendix.